Hi guys, it's Eileen here and I'm going to make a set of four ATCs in this series of Russia. It's a, the theme is Russia and I made this little um, kind of stained uh, picture, black and white picture because I have a printer that only prints black and whites um, on them. So... This is why I printed out a couple pages of this. I sprayed some hairspray on there, so then the ink, I'm not sure if it would run or not. And then I just sprayed some coloring on it, just to give it a tint. Some inks on it. So I'm going to do that again, and I'm just going to spray another one here, because I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I'll use in it. So I may use all three papers or one I'm not sure so I am um, gonna do that I'm gonna quickly pause it so I could dry this so I um I did the other two pages I just did them quickly and dried them so now these are the pages I have done pieces so I'm not sure exactly what parts of them I'm going to use. So I'm going to use all of them, all three of them, but I have them ready. Because I'm going to do, I like to do four cards. And... Kind of have with a, obviously with a oops with a Russian theme and this is what basically all I can come up with right now without going out and buying something. Um, I just don't happen to have anything Russian. So this is the paper and I think they turned out pretty nice with the stains on them. So I like the way they turned out with the ink. So. This is my card that I drew out. So I got the four sections for my journaling. Now I think I'm just going to basically glue these on here. And go from there. So I got my Mod Podge. Should I Mod Podge them or should I use gel medium? Hmm. Maybe I will use my matte gel. See how well that is. Do I have any scrap stuff here? To wipe it. Yeah. This is one I'm always using for gel medium. I like to use the same brush um, for my gel medium that I use all the time. So then I only got one that's for that. So here goes. I'm using the textured side, so I'm hoping to get some of the bumpy in there. And if that was my plan, so if that works, that would be great. So here goes with this one. I'm just going to put it right in the corner. And I'm actually going to add a little bit more gel medium on this side as well. And I'm going to flip it and then do this side. I have to mail these to, like I said before, um, Australia, where I have a swap, so I can't put it off. I last time I put, I mailed them right away, and I think I'm just gonna go 
right to the edge of this one. So I'm going to put some gel on the back. I'm going to add it right to the edge. And I'm just going to go with that. I think this one's overlapping here a bit, so I'm going to fold that up, add some gel medium. And then I'm going to do it to the back as, as well. I really love this gel medium stuff. It's really really works well for me. Now do I really want to have that like that? Hmm. Now I'm not sure if I want this piece right over here. Now I'm going to be looking for so I oh, put right here I'm actually going to cut this piece right off and I did a little crooked but that's okay I'm just going to move it I'm just going to move it up a bit right here maybe I just didn't want it to be right over top of this other building. I don't know how much it's going to show through, but that's what I wanted for now. So now I'm going to cut off the edge here. I don't need it over the edge, and maybe I could use these pieces, I don't know. So, I'm going to take the gel medium on this part. Right down the center, I'm going to add this guy. Just like that. Okay. I know, it's like looking a little crazy. I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> but it's coming along really good. So I'm just going to continue with it. this guy and you know what no oh, I'm not gonna bother worrying about that moving it up a bit kind of doing a Mod Podge one on this last one here I got the brush in my I got the brush in my mouth Here we go. I'm liking that. With this last little corner here, I'm just gonna put that like that. Put this right here. This last little corner here, see I told you I'm kind of throwing it together. I got this map and I'm just gonna color it up. So I colored the the map out. I add a little bit more gel medium because it's kind of dry now. Make sure I get the edge back up 
this. And that is how that one's going to go on. So, this is going to be my base of my ATC, so I'm going to cut the edge off and I am going to put some texture on it. Soon, as I dried up the gel medium a bit because it's quite wet still so I'm going to dry the gel medium and and then I'm going to put some texture on there texture like modeling modeling paste Hold on one second for dry. So I am going to, now that it's dry, this is what it looks like. My background. And I'm going to choose this stencil to put on there. And I'm going to use this little mixer device that, you know, for mixing makeup or colors as well. I'm going to, I'm going to try to see how well this does because it's small and I'm hoping that'll do a good job. So I'm going to try it. It may not and if it does that's great. It doesn't really bend very well so that might be downfall yeah I'm not really feeling this um, tool doing the job so I'm going to grab another one here but I don't want to go too yeah this one just feels a lot better I don't want to go too crazy. But I do want to get some of this kind of everywhere on all four cards anyway. I like that. Gonna kind of hold it this way. Add some more over here in the corner. squished it down over here a bit. I'm not pleased with that. I'm actually going to remove some of this right here because I don't like it covering the um, I did not realize I was covering this beautiful buildings here that much. Here, it's kind of well churned, but I don't want to squish anymore. So that's my texture. So I'm going to pause now so I can throw this into the sink. 
So this is where I'm at so far. Um, I dried the um, polyfill or the um, modeling paste. And I'm going to add some red to the... Alright, got it all inked up, so I don't think it's going to bother it. I'm going to add some red to it. Instead of mixing it and then not knowing if I had much leftovers, I kind of thought I was just going to dye it red now, so I don't know that made me do that. But I'm going to do that. That's it's not going to change the nice colors I have in there, I don't think. I've decided, I've decided to um, add some of this kind of material I have here to it. So I'm going to add some gel medium. And I'm not really sure, I just kind of thought, you know, I wanted a little bit more texture. And... So I'm going to add this a little bit in there. I'm not I'm liking that quite a bit. So that's good. So The ends off, or the edges off. And they'll all have a bit of that in there. And I think that's cute. Um. I'm not sure what else I want to do to this. Hmm. I'm thinking I actually might go do something really crazy, like covering it up with some more material. I'm going to put... This is kind of like florist uh, stuff they put in when they got the flowers and make their little bouquets. They have all these materials. These are swatches from a florist, anyway, and when they don't need them, use the swatches, they're old, they throw them out, so then you can ask for a local florist if they would save them and what day they want to throw them out, because they don't want to save them, pile them up in the back, right? But if you make an arrangement to pick them up when they're going to do that, so they're not piled up, then they will... They don't mind. So they don't want things sitting around, right? So, yeah. So I'm going to put this on top. And I know I'm doing it kind of weirdly. But I don't want to now measure and stuff, so. Now I'm just doing it like this. Very different. Almost like Russia, some kind of myth, right? And that's what it's looking like with this stuff all over it here. Mythical. I don't know. So, now I'm going to cut the edges off on here. And it gives it a quite a unique appearance. 
So what I'm going to do after I'm done cutting this off is I'm going to dry it really well. It's like a veil, a veil over Russia. So I'm going to dry it. I have tons of these pieces of materials. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like after that. So hold on your one second. So I partly dried it here, but I decided I'm going to cut them apart at this point because I want to have the veil type thing that I had made over these ATC cards to melt on all edges. And it will not melt on all edges if I keep it whole till the very end. So that's one technique I really like about these materials when you're making flowers or any kind of little bows you can make a shabby kind of look with it looking melting see how this end here started going up so I'm going to continue doing that so I'm going to pause it or perhaps I'll just do that in front of you guys melt it up a bit so then you guys can see how what I mean So I'm just going over it quite close to melt the the material and it's looking okay. It took a lot of drying to get it to look like this and now I think I love the way it looks. It's so shabby and I love it. So that's how this piece is starting to look now and I did I was hoping for a little bit more melting on this side but it's turned up really well I think you can still see the buildings the old buildings and and you know what with this other material I put underneath first it actually held some of this mesh up and melted really lovely like really nice underneath and so I like the way it looks very very shabby so this is how it's looking so far I might add a little bit of blue to some of them here just a little bit of color on top of the on top of the cloth because of course, going over it covered some of the bright colors, which I really liked. So, oh, that one squirts really nice. So, I want to keep it looking very bright and beautiful. And that's that. So, I'm going to do a quick dry, and I might put some Mod Podge over top. So, I'm going to do a quick Okay, I did a quick dry and I'm really liking how this is going on here, but I think I'm going to add some metallic gold. So I'm going to look for my metallic gold, which is right here, and add a little bit of that on it. And I, I like a little bit more color, and so, yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of gold and I would like to use a smaller brush. Where do I have a smaller brush? I think I used them all up. I have to wipe this one out. So check how that goes. I'm just gonna do a little bit here and there to see how it goes with the colors. How I like it, and I'm really oh, I'm still on the fence on that one. Usually, gold looks great on everything, so I'm hoping it'll help it pop a bit more but I'm not sure about it right now over these colors. So 
So I'm not really like it's not a themey, but it's got a little bit of a Russian feel just because the building's really and then you can't really make out this building but the word Russia for the map here. So I'm gonna pause the video and dry it quickly. Okay. So they are dry. The metallic really bubbles up when it dries when you hold it still, and I kind of trying to do that with this, and they're really warm right now, but they're looking great. So, yeah, I'm liking it a lot. So, this is my really shabby Russian theme. Um, so, perhaps I'm going to add a little bit of black. give it more of that shabby look and this is my well used black kind of trashy ink pad I use for rubbing on my cards and my scrapbook or my art journal and whatnot. You can see the difference in how that really highlights and lifts it up and I love it just a little bit of black in there is perfect That's it for that, I think, because you can add too much and then totally, totally destroy it. Now, I am thinking that I am going to use... And then another A, and another space. Then I'm going to go to my cutter. That worked better. Okay, now I'm learning how to use this. <laughs> so that worked better. I like that. Um, this really looks so neat. It kind of gives me an idea. You know, it looks like an office. Well, obviously it's for office use, right? I almost could put, you know, you can almost put a few pieces of paper to make them look like a folder. And uh, a little clip here. What are these called? The mini binder clips, which I have here. And look like it's like a piece from a, I don't know, history. And they have like, you know, the little folder thing. And that's kind of a really, really, really cool idea. I'm kind of liking that look. So I have a bit of the map still here. Just a bit of a map. And I could probably, just for a look, just to see, you know, check it out. What does it look like? It'd almost be really nice to have the brown on my sleeve or whatever in there, right? Where is that? Instead of the black, I'm not sure why I was using black. Oh, here's a dry. Here's a dry, um... Baby wipe. I'm just going to use that as an applicator. You can use dry baby wipes if they're not too filthy. But 
that one. No, that's not going to work. It's got to be something else. It's really cute. What do you think? Maybe. What do you think? Maybe if I wet it with some brown, aged it a bit. Brown ink. Perhaps that'll look better if I were to do that. Kind of roll up my end a bit. Kind of too much the same color, still in my opinion, to work. But if I were to find a piece of paper that look somewhat like a file folder, mm-hmm. And then I cut it out. This is my whoa, way of thinking here, guys. <laughs> um, let's see here how the file folder look. We almost need to have a... Um, it's not quite straight, but we're going to go for a... in there just to give it a bit of a help for it to look like a file folder it's not too bad we can get um, some ink on here I know this is French, but no one has to know that. So, it's not like they're going to look too closely, I don't think. I'm going to grab my... This is just like totally off the wall thinking, right? Uh, so I'm going to grab that. Have a piece of... Have a few pieces of paper in there. in there. And then we can kind of, I think I'm going to cut them down the middle here. Yes, I am. Cut them down the middle here. I think I'm going to do that. And I think this looks really cute. Now, I have this little file folder with the rush on it. I think that's cute. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I'm, I think I will. One of them. Definitely cute. So, I think I'm going to use on this one. Yes, 
this one. You know what? I might just make one for all of them. I'm really liking it. It's really, really cute. I think I'll trim the edges with my trimmer, if I know where it is. It's right here. Let's hope we don't ruin this. Take my paper out. This is really, really cute. I might have ruined it. I could do it all over again now. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it right down here. Cut a little bit long here. I think I'll make this a little shorter. Yeah, it's too rounded. It's too big of a rounding for that. But I like the way this was looking like this. And across one of these. So I think that's cute. So I think I'm going to use that as my embellishment. And that's me thinking like this. So I'm going to really have to edit this because it's going to be very long. But this is really, really turning out to be cute the way it's looking for me. So I think I'm going to add some texture to this. Oops, too much stuff in the way. So now I know how to make these things. This is my first actual word. Well, no, I made um, my son's name. So I'm liking how that looks. I'm going to seal it. And I'm going to make others here. So and I think that's going to be perfect. So... I am going to unsticky my sticky on the Russia. I'm going to seal this on there like that, like so. And then it's going to be like when you mail it like that, but coming out like so. So that's going to how that's how it's going to be my Russia. I love it. I really do. I think it's perfect. So And is this black or suede? It's supposed to be suede. You know what I'm going to do too because now I'm just in the total mood. I'm going to find a cap and I'm going to use it, test it out on a piece of paper, try to make like a coffee cup ring. And use a tip to make some spots. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that on my file folder so it looks like someone was reviewing it with a cup of coffee and spilt some stain, coffee stain on it. And that's what I'm going to do with that. Now that looks really neat. It's not very dark stain. So it looks very realistic. And I like that. So that's my, this is going to be my new little mini coffee cup stain. Stainer! That's cute. That's how that looks. So I'm going to be permanently putting that down. So, so now you guys have an idea of what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put the video on pause and do the rest of them to kind of catch up. Okay, guys, this is my Russian-themed um, ATC cards. And this is how they turned out. So, the file folder, um, the Russia on there, I don't know. It just kind of popped in there. You guys seen that? And it gives it more. 
gives it more of a fun dimension to the ATC. So I'm not sure if I'm going to add any more to it, but right now this is it for each of these guys. And you know what? I might just have to give keep one and send off the other three just because they're so cute. Yeah, I really like them. So this is my theme and this is it so far. So thanks guys. I think actually I think I'm pretty much done. I think I'm going to add some um, Mod Podge to it to shine it up a bit maybe. I'm not sure. But I'll think about that. So yeah, I think this is it. Thanks guys. I guess I'll talk to you later. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial. Bye!